Stiff competition, same street, same time. What do you do? This comes up. Roofing is competitive. We got markets like Colorado specifically that's had a drought after drought, two years in a row, storm hits. Everyone and their brother is the same language that almost every roofer in Colorado has sent out to me as they try to break open these new neighborhoods. So what do you do when you have competition that is fierce, that is stiff, and you're sitting there on the street and you see same street, same time, we're knocking as competitors. What do you do? What you may be feeling like you want to do is to tuck your tail and then go find the next neighborhood, but I'm going to be teaching you to not do that, especially when it comes to times like this. And I know my Colorado friends, I'm calling you out because we had small storms. Those neighborhoods don't really exist. Now in better times and bigger storms and a more active season, we may have more opportunities to skirt into the next one. But most importantly, we need to learn how to stand true, stand proud, and keep course. But I know that's easier said than done. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three tactical ways to stick and stay put when you're dealing with same street, same time competition in door-to-door -door roofing sales. Welcome and welcome back, by the way. My name is Adam Benzman, the Roof Strategist. And at this point, I'm hoping you can say it for me. Everything I do on the channel is designed to help you smash your income goals and give every customer an amazing experience. And sometimes we have challenges like competitors who are literally on our turf. So I'm going to be teaching you how to deal with it. Now, before we get into it, I do want to share one thing with you. And that's my favorite thing. It's the Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library that's 100% free. So if you liked any of my videos, I'll send you this library entirely free. You can literally pick and choose what videos to watch, organize by category to binge at your heart's content. And you may have a question about a certain objection or a pitch at the door or dealing with certain situations or insurance companies, explaining paperwork to the homeowner or anything in between as it relates to roofing sales is in here and it's entirely free. And I've got everything from brand new people to seasoned veterans to owners who are putting this in the hands of their team. So let's get a copy into your hands so you don't miss out. Uh, available now at theroofstrategist.com. There's a link in the description. All right, let's get to it. So competition, same street, same time, three tactical ways to help you crush it. Let's get into first. Number one, keep calm and carry on. Keep calm and carry on. Now, I know that it is easier said than done. You're thinking to yourself, well, if I just show up two minutes later and someone else just knocked on their door, do I even have a shot at this? I'm going to be touching on that in a minute. The other thing that I want to focus on here is for you to really understand the scenario. So again, core theme, keep calm and carry on. But first, assess what's going on. Know your surroundings. You've got a couple different options. If you're brand new in this neighborhood and you're targeting a neighborhood to open or crack open for the very first time, may this be the best one for you? Maybe not, but as I mentioned, competition is fierce. And what I don't want to see happen is for you to make one of those key mistakes I featured in my other video on the worst ways to crack open a neighborhood, which is the drive around method. And what I don't want you to do is get in there and be like, ah, someone's already in there already. Drive to the next one, someone's in there already. Drive around to the next one, someone's in there already. And then all of a sudden you're looking for this blue ocean, totally fresh green turf that no one has stomped on yet. It, it, it probably doesn't exist. And then before you know it, you've burned an entire day a tank full of gas and you have nothing to show for it. So in this video, remember, even if you are cracking open that new neighborhood, that doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a shot, but also it breeds a different type of confidence if you already own that neighborhood, if it's your turf, if it's your honey hole, if you've got one, two, three, 15 homes in that neighborhood, that is your area to crush it. So just look at them as like, dude, what are you going to take from me? So just be confident no matter what your scenario is, because there is an upside and opportunity that awaits because as my wife Sheena says, there's a pot for every lid, meaning everyone is different. Some people cannot stand the way I sell. I've had hate comments on Facebook and YouTube and call me a slime ball and a sleazy salesperson. I frankly think of myself as a very education-based conversational salesperson that is selling like a doctor and an advisor. Meanwhile, the next guy, which I had someone on our sales team way back when who I would never ever buy from, but he would come back to the office with closed $60,000 roofs on a one call close with a 50% deposit. So my point is that buyers are different. 
people will buy from different people. So just because someone's on that street with you doesn't mean they won't buy from you because they may not like the other guy because they thought he was a sleazeball. He was slimy. He said something wrong. His pitch sucked. The neighbors didn't like them. They had a bad experience. They heard a bad thing, a bad reputation. You just don't know. So get out of your own head and keep calm and carry on. And last thing, mindset. This industry in door-to-door -door sales challenges us all. If you are dealing with some anxiety or nerves, what do you think the next guy is dealing with or gal? Yeah, likely the same thing. My point is, if it makes you uncomfortable, what's the key thing in sales? He who speaks first loses, silence. Getting comfortable with silence. Asking the question to the homeowner and waiting. When you can lean into these discomforts, think of it as practice. You might out discomfort the next person. I've used this in negotiating when things don't go right and I need a, a refund or I'm requesting someone to make a situation better. I lean into the discomfort and I joke with my wife, I'm gonna out discomfort this person. I'm gonna lean into how really miserable this conversation is right now. And it is really fun and a great experience. By the way, it's actually not fun. It sucks at first, but once you get good at it, it's fun. So my point is remember that other people are thinking the same thing. So we've laid the groundwork. Let's get into it. I want to give you those three pieces of advice right now to help you with competition, same street, same time. Number one, I want you to target the ripe homes first. What do I mean by ripe? Okay. This is looking at what they're doing so you can be first on the door. If they're going this way down the street, you start in front because what you don't want to do, if you can control it, and sometimes you can't, is be the person that's knocking right behind them and you show up three, four minutes behind that person. When you get in front of them, you're on green turf versus knocking behind them. You may find that you're gonna zigzag, but chances are that person who's got the same mindset as you, you may out discomfort them and they say, well, screw that, I'm out of this neighborhood or I'm gonna come back at a different time. So target ripe homes first and stay a step ahead. All right, number two, don't back down. Remember, it is important for you to realize that there's opportunity for everyone. And this is one thing that either people love me for or they hate me for. I believe that there's enough work to go around for good companies. My honest opinion, which you didn't pay for, so I can give you a shooting through all the bull, is that a lot of roofing companies out there aren't honest, aren't doing good work, aren't gonna survive, and the salespeople are looking to make a buck. They're not in it with heart. They don't have a clear why. They don't have a clear vision. They're not dedicated to an amazing customer experience. They're not very communicative. They're pushy, and they're there for no other reason than seeing a bullseye in a homeowner's back and making a sale. And what you need to remember is that when we have pride in what we do, when we believe that when we serve the little old lady, when we believe that when we get to that door first, we're gonna be providing a higher level of service, a higher value of service, more integrity than anyone else, that brings passion and pride into what we do and you will outlast the competitors. I've seen it happen over and over again. Here's a company, this guy and this guy go off and they start their own thing and then a year later they dissolve or didn't make it or two years later. It happens all the time. So my, my message to you is don't back down. And also remember that no one else likes competition. So if you're strong, you'll out discomfort them like I just shared with you. So target those homes first, get in the lead if you can, do not back down, all right? You will find some people get real finicky and pissy in this industry saying, hey, you're in my turf. This is my... No one owns the neighborhood, guys. This isn't a gang war. We are out here all with equal opportunity to serve. And in my opinion, homeowners sniff through that stuff and there's enough work to go around. We have to have an abundant mindset and realize, let the best man win or woman, however you want to phrase it. Let the best person, the best company win. And if you have that mindset, you now look at your competitors as, as Simon Sinek says, worthy rivals that challenge you to be better, that challenge you to do things differently. So don't back down and rise to the occasion to deliver your best. All right. And this last piece of advice is the advice that my wife has given me over and over and over again. And the fun part for me filming this, she's on the other side 
of this camera, and I mean everything I'm about to say. Sheena has told me to always be you. I remember for the first time sitting down with some quasi celebrities for a sale and I wanted to get all dressed up and she goes, you don't do that, be you. When I had long hair, if you back and, and seen any of the videos on the channel, that didn't hold me back from delivering quality information. Those that judged me for how my hair looked, which by the way has all since been donated to Locks of Love to give a child who's going through cancer a wig, um, this whole thing wouldn't exist. And, and it never held me back from serving the people that I'm meant to serve. And the same goes for you. Be you. Not everyone liked the way the last person pitched at the door. Not everyone liked the taste in their mouth that they gave them. When you show up and you do things differently and you be you, remember, who do people buy from? From people they know, they like, and they trust. And it is a competitive advantage when we have an anchoring, meaning, I just had an experience with a really bad person and a semi-decent human shows up. The semi-decent person is going to look like a great person because of comparison to the dirt bag that was just there. So be you, be real, carry your heart, and don't hide behind anything. I don't care what you drive. I don't care how small or big your company is. I don't care how long you've been in business, and I don't care how long you've been doing this. Because at the end of the day, how you make your customers feel is why they will or will not buy from you. So be you, be confident, be proud, serve with heart, and you will win business even when you're in the same street at the same time. Thank you for joining me on today's video. And I really hope that these three tips help you in that scenario, same street, same time. Remember, target those ripe homes first, get ahead. Don't back down and simply be you. It's the way of the game out there and it's a level playing field for you to write your rules and win the right way. Thanks for joining me. Listen, just because our time here is about to wrap up doesn't mean our time should. So if you haven't done it, click here to get a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library. Chances are you're gonna discover videos in there that you haven't watched yet, or click right here to watch a video that I think you're really gonna like. I'll see you in the next one.